now, Troy, remember your mantras. The astral realm is very mysterious, so it is important that you maintain your worldly tether. Of course, Master. I feel ready. I, I can do this. Very well. Let's begin. Close your eyes and begin meditation. That's strange. Help. Help. Help! 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 Troy! 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 Troy, what happened? Um, what? Something's not right. Kevin? Where and when are we? My readings place us somewhere in the northern isles of Briconia in the year 1276. What? I. that doesn't seem to be good. H hey! Swart McGee! You come down here to meet you! I'm a <laughs> they seem to be speaking Old Nord. Perhaps I can communicate with them. Well, I'd say you communicated pretty effectively just now. The Comer i Freyad, the Artid Reisera, O Comhar Abed Uhel, the Manor Ingen Fara. I think I'm breaking through to them. I think there's been a misunderstanding. This is absurd. Kevin, could you get us out of here? I might have to kill some people, but yes. Just hold on a second. Let's see what their chief says. This Arara, Fremen and Kipena, Har Brut Svart Magi, Tiro, Invader, Lansby and Vor. This skull, Brenna Til Duh. What did he say? That we used black magic to invade their village and attack them. Also, that we will burn until dead. Oh, yeah. I guess we might have to kill them. Levendelik! Levendelik! What? What does that mean? It means living dead. You got to be kidding me. yourselves oh, oh, oh my god what are you looking at me for
and Gava Fragudna, and Gava Fragudna. So, I'm assuming he changed his mind? He says we're a gift from the gods. They're throwing us a feast. Now that's more like it. I could use some mead. Make yourselves comfortable. Your protection is much appreciated. Drink up. Uh, thanks. Wait, you speak English? Uh, a few have learned to speak it. You pillage enough English villages and you pick up a few things, you know. <laughs> Jenny, what do we do? Shouldn't we get out of here? How? To where? Seems like our options are pretty limited right now. <clears throat> She's right, Gerald. Let's focus on one zombie apocalypse at a time. But for now, drink. It's been almost six months since we unintentionally landed in a medieval Nork village. <coughs> all in all, it hasn't been too bad. The villagers have been quite friendly to us, though they are absolutely vicious to their enemies. With Kevin's translating help, we've been learning their language and customs. We've also gotten pretty good at fighting. There's really only one major downside to the medieval village life. According to the villagers, a plague of undead warriors has been spreading across the land for years. Nobody knows where they came from exactly, and though there are no shortage of rumors, one thing is certain. They don't- Gerald! Ah! Gerald! J damn it, lad! That's not a toy! Uh, 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 uh sorry, General. What, uh, what, what's up? We're being called to a meeting with the chief. I've already gathered the others. What's going on? I'm not entirely sure. But it concerns all of us. Come with me. Well, why are you all so quiet? Lighten up. Have some mead. The six of you claim to be from a time yet to come. You say that you made the journey to prevent the end of times, but that you went too far. I wasn't sure what to make of your arrival for a long time. But last night, I received a message from the gods. Oh, come on. I found myself in the halls of Valhalla. And it was beautiful. At first I thought I was alone. And then I saw them. The gods. You lead a proud village, Viking, and your prayers have been heard. A scourge of death is clouding this world, one beyond our power to control. But it can be stopped. Dear Odin, I kneel before you, by the branches of Yggdrasil. Tell me how I can ensure the safety of my village. We have a task for you, mortal, and it extends beyond the safety of your village. You recently received some visitors, have you not? Yes, indeed, dear Freya. They claim to be from a, a different time. These visitors are fated to be the saviors of this world, Viking. Their arrival to this time is no accident. I, I don't understand. What can they possibly do to stop the plague of evil on this land? They shall travel to the Dark Heart from whence this evil came, and destroy the wretched source. And you shall lead them, mortal. Forgive my ignorance, Great Thor, but 
How can I lead them if I don't know the way? Trust your instincts, Viking, and you will find the way. And we will be with you. You have my blessing. And my ass. And what if we fail? Look into the well, Viking, and you will see a vision of a future in which you fail. By the fangs of Fenrir. Oh, dear gods. It can't be. No! No, no, no! No! You have until sunrise to gather your belongings. Our journey begins at dawn. No! What? I'm sick! Of being responsible for saving the world. I am I'm sick of the fighting, and I'm I'm sick of being at death's door all the time. <sighs> Things aren't so bad here. We can survive in the village. Uh, we can we can build a big wall or, or something. Build the wall. Build the wall. You think that this is negotiable? Do you think you can oppose the will of the gods? What? Gods! You had a dream! I will not stand for this blasphemy! You will come with us in the morning, or you will burn at the stake. Uh, you, you must try to forgive Gerald, Chief. He's only a boy, yet he has seen so much death. He lost a good friend to a similar plague from our time. I understand. The boy fears death. This is not the Viking way, but... But then he is not a Viking. He may not be a Viking, but the lad has potential. He has survived this far, after all. You're right. I must exercise my patience. General, I must request something of you. Protect the village in my absence. Keep the metal man with you as well. This village will need guardians in our absence. If that is what you command, I will obey. If I may ask, Chief, what did you see in the well? General, you know as well as I that there is no death more noble than death in battle. <laughs> The world that I saw in that well, the nobility of that world was drowned by seas of blood. There was no glory or pride, only death and the devouring of innocence. I wish I hadn't looked. Mm. A noble death, and I should be so lucky. What's the rush, babe? Uh, I told you not to call me that. And have you forgotten? We're leaving the village today. Oh, right. To save the world. <coughs> well, come on, come on. We haven't got all day. Hmm. Gerald, hurry up! Not exactly a first-class travel experience. Hey! Why, you? Looking to lose your other arm, friend? What? That's my brother, Gunnar. He's a little rough around the edges. You seem a little tense yourself. I was born tense! What's it to ya? Take a seat, Brur. I've got something to ease your mind. Consider it a peace offering from your brother, Jürgen. What's that? <sighs> Seroweed. What's your name, then? Joe. 
Gerald, where are you? Here he is. I found him running towards the woods. Gerald? Oh, sorry if I don't want to go into the dark heart from whence this evil came. Jenny! Get in the carriage. <laughs> Still up. Hmm? It's quiet. Too quiet. Ambush! Shields up! <gasps> well, what do we do? There's too many of them. Perhaps we can turn around and we'll run in the other direction. No, this is the only way through the gorge. We must fight. Vikings of the North, you are hereby under arrest by order of the Queen herself. Under arrest? What in Loki's name for? For decades of incessant plundering and thieving of royal cargo. Uh, we, we do that deny a lot. That. Through. Do we at least get a fair trial? <laughs> there it is. Kingdom of Galadon, run by the absolutely ruthless Slayer Queen. Slayer Queen? What does she slay? Some say she has slain dragons, but some say she slayed her own father and brother to ensure her place at the throne. I like her already. Enough chit chat back there. You're wasting your breath anyway. The Queen has decreed that you lot will be subject to the pit. Get to the point, Fancy Pants. What is this pit? I suppose you could call it a combat arena of sorts. You'll see what I mean. And if we win? <laughs> you won't. Some quest this turned out to be. Ah, oh, some company at last! Um, uh, oh! There you are. Oh, my strong frame you got there. I'm sure you'll be a great fighting companion. Um, are you, are you blind? I prefer the term visually challenged. <laughs> but don't worry, I can hold my own in a fight. Yeah! How many of you are there? They usually send eight contestants out at a time. There are six of us. Ooh, there's a lovely voice. Hi, I'm Baran. Could you sing me a song before we all die? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What makes everyone so sure we're gonna die? Well, what's on the other side of the wall? The plague.
good thing you've got your little brood to cover your back. now we live to die another day I imagine Shit. that was amazing guys I mean I didn't see any of it but did you hear that crowd they loved us those undead didn't stand a chance <laughs> it's good to be alive hey Baron yeah shut up you! Okay, I, I feel ridiculous asking this, but are you Slade? Come on, Joe. Yes, I am. What? My full name is Sir Drake Slade, noble from the kingdom of Blocktear. At least, I was until I was made a prisoner of war by the Slayer Queen. So wait, 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 wait. So your name is Slade? Correct. And you're an incredible fighter? Indeed. And you have weird scars on your face. Inherited birthmark, I'm afraid. The men in my bloodline seem to be cursed with it. I, well, I think we might have met someone related to you. <clears throat> the queen will see you now. So, you're telling me that you were sent by the gods on a quest to find the source of the evil undead and end the plague. Is that right? That's right. What a ridiculous story. You're either insane or you have a death wish. Tell me, do you know what awaits you further south? Um, no. Chief? <clears throat> if you continue your present route, you will stumble headlong into the frightened forest. The frightened forest? What, are the trees scared? I've heard of that place. They say that the trees grow poorly there, always on the verge of death, and that no man who has entered the forest has come out alive. No man, perhaps, but a woman did once. Hold your tongue or lose it, prisoner. I suppose it would be distasteful for me to have you lot executed after surviving around in the pit. How about a deal? I spare your lives, and you continue your little quest under jurisdiction of the Galadonian forces. I'm guessing we don't have much of a choice. Wait, you're going to voluntarily send troops into a deadly forest for a quest you don't believe in? Don't presume to know my intentions, dear. I may not believe in your fairy tale quest, but that does not mean I don't have interests that reside in the forest. Pack their gear and throw them into the royal carriage for transport. We leave first thing in the morning. You mentioned something about a woman entering the frightened forest that got the queen riled up. What was that about? Oh, everyone knows about that. 
a few years ago, the entire kingdom was starving, even the royalty. Story goes that the king led a hunting party into the frightened forest and brought both of his children. A week goes by and surprise, surprise, the queen returns without a scratch on her, but no hunting party and no king and no prince. What happened? That's where the tale gets very strange. You see, the queen claimed not to remember a thing. The last thing she remembered was seeing a pale blue light in the forest, and then suddenly she was walking out of the forest half-starved a week later. A strange story, and suspicious nonetheless. Ooh, I just got chills. We're entering the forest. Hello, traveling knights! Say, those are some nice weapons you got there. Imperial iron is pretty good. But if you're entering the frightened forest, you'll need more than just pretty good. Luckily for you, I have a special sale on specially crafted magic weapons. Wow. Magic weapons? Like what? Dothwin, don't listen to him. Magical weapon salesmen can't be trusted. Oh, sure they can. And so can my weapons. Especially this beauty right here. Now, I call this baby Beatrice. She was enchanted by a wizard from the north. Wow. What does she do? Uh, she, she becomes, uh, she becomes a lightning blade. Yes, a lightning blade. But only when you're in danger and only when you're calm and focused. And you look like a man who can keep his cool in danger. <laughs> <laughs> wow, thanks. I I'll, I'll take it. That'll be 50 gold pieces. This is not good. Sorry you got roped into this, Drake. This is not the quest we intended it to be. Quests rarely go the way they're intended, my lady. And don't pity me. It is better to die in battle than to die for the entertainment of vile crowds. Shut up, prisoner. You need us, don't be a fool. That blade. Feral and dead.
gather some weapons and supplies. We continue on foot. Are you crazy? You want to continue after that? This is bullshit. This is just bullshit. Pull yourself together. We're still alive, aren't we? And our quest continues. Yeah, continues into certain death. We've barely been in this forest for 10 minutes and a dozen knights are dead. Is it death, then, that you are afraid of? Or perhaps suffering? Do you fear these more than failure? Yes, of course. And why is that? Tell me, for what purpose were you born, Gerald? For pleasure? To live in comfort? I... I... I don't know. But I know I don't want to die. Ah, uh, yes. You don't want to die. Because what could be more dreadful than death? But what is death? Tis no other than a function of nature, my boy. And to fear a natural function is to be a child. Now some must die so that others may live. It is an eternal law. It is THE eternal law. We cannot escape it, but we can challenge it. So pick up your sword, strap on your armor, and stand up straight. That which is unendurable will carry us off, but that which lasts can be endured. So when you do cross your swords with death, do not falter, but hold your ground. Look death in the face and say, I am not afraid of you. Did, uh, one of you say something? Uh, we didn't say anything. Stay close together. It's easy to get separated in this quagmire. What the hell is a squagmire? Yeah, hmm? uh, oh, this is an evil place. We'll have to watch each other's backs. Hey, Jenny, look! Gerald, stay close! For hell with her. I can't see Dritt in this fog. Over here. actually getting pretty good. Oh really? My little girl is becoming quite the warrior princess then. Uh -oh. 
What in the devil is going on? There is an armored convoy of undead soldiers approaching the village. Armored? Convoy? Undead? Soldiers? Burgage! Man the gates! Did you hear that? You'll have to be more specific, your highness. Hey! Where the hell is everybody? Raina, over here. Father? Robert? Hey, stay close! Jesus Christ, people! This stuff is disgusting. I think the air is getting clearer. Look, we're at the edge. Hello. 
Oh, my friend. <laughs> how, how, how? Gerald, that is not Matt. Oh, friend. So this is how we go. Smothered in green crap. Guide with your hand the honors of our fellowship. Are you so praying? Feast That's just great. You think you can pray us out of here? Have some respect, son. Oh yeah? For who? The same gods that sent us on this stupid quest? Have you lost all your dignity, boy? We're about to die. You can take your dignity and shove it right up your Viking. Now, ladies, are we done bickering? Ladies, really? You're gonna go there? All praise to Odin, God of the gods. Hungry. You know, those wolves pack a lot of meat. Frick that! I'm not messing with any flippin' demon wolves! I... I can barely lift a sword right now. I'm tired, Jenny. So tired. Hey. It's okay. I'm also tired and scared. But we have to believe that we can make it through this. You're right. It just... I think seeing Matt again, it, it did something to me. I mean, he was my friend for well. We went to high school together. And now, now his body is... It's, I mean, he's... Oh, God, you know what kind of twisted world this is. All of this evil. Just horror. You know? I feel... I feel small. I mean, really, Jenny, how does... Uh, Jenny? Jenny? Uh, Jenny? It's so beautiful. Jenny, what are you doing? Uh, uh, Jenny? Jenny? Oh, God. Come on! Come on! Come on! Welcome home, child. Once lost, now you are found. Join now your sisters and brethren. Use the Use sword! The sword. <laughs> Who?
What the? I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. I am not afraid. I am not afraid. Don't touch her. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> Anything is beautiful compared to that nightmare forest. Oh, good, you did what make it. Hey, guys. Wh who are you? Baron? That's my... Oh, that's my dad. Oh, he led us out of the forest. Uh, Oh, a blessing it is to meet you at last, Gerald and Jenny. My name is Corin. Pleased nice to me meet you. <laughs> well, well, if it isn't the lovebirds. Joe, Chief, <laughs> you guys all made it. Not all of us, Minvan. Jurgen and Gunnar were both lost to that damned forest cr creature. The Harfunet still hit, bro. Ah, we wouldn't have made it ourselves if not for the good fortune of meeting a guide. Yeah, dude. Bronze Dad's a wizard. Seriously, what are the odds? <laughs> you might call it fortune, or you might call it causality. 
Or you might call it a good dad looking out for his troublesome boy. <laughs> Come now, we have much to discuss. But we will discuss things properly near a cozy fireplace with tea for the sipping. Got anything stronger? Come, come. My hut awaits. yourself to the cookies. I conjured them up myself. They're special cookies, if you know what I mean. What, like magic? <sighs> sure. Well, having a wizard in our party certainly evens the odds a bit, even if his specialty is cookies. I'm not complaining. A mere party trick, I assure you. Mine is the art of telepathy. Uh, conjuring is more of a hobby. No offense, Corin. Seriously. Uh, but how does that help us exactly? The plague you face is a corruptive force, my girl. It corrupts not only the body, but the mind and spirit as well. I can protect your spirits and perhaps cleanse the corrupted. Cleanse the corrupted? Name my next album? Yes, well, there are some things you should know about the source of this evil plague. Fill me in later. It can all be traced to a powerful sorcerer who lives in the East Mountains. <laughs> hey. Hi. Beautiful sunrises don't get old after a century. I wonder if they ever do. Uh, who are you talking to, Dad? Uh, just thinking out loud, my boy. Ah. Awake! Awake, my friends! The day grows hungry. Good morning, Drake. The goodness of the morning is yet to be determined, I'd say. But tell me, are you afraid? I don't know. I feel uneasy, but uh, something's changed. I'm pretty sure. Hmm. You're wisening up, my friend. So, Corn, what's the plan? Oh, just collect your gear, my friends, and I'll explain along the way. The source of the evil you seek is a sorcerer who dwells in an underground cave. Cliché much? While in a deep trance, I sense the presence of a hidden entrance. Through this entrance, we can attack the sorcerer directly and bring an end to it. Are we there yet? Traveling on foot sucks. Joe, you literally have bionic feet. Hush now. We're near the gate. I can feel it. Well, that was easy. Ah! Gerald! Yeah. 
trespassers perish. Hold him off! I will attempt to enter his mind. Who, who are you? I'm just, just someone, someone who wishes, wishes to help. help. Here, yeah, grab, grab a hold of my staff. staff. Forces that seek control of your external body. But I am a machine. I do not have a real mind. Do I? <laughs> well, it would certainly appear otherwise, wouldn't you say? That you were a slave. I simply entered your mind to remind you that you are not. It is my mind. Wait! Rather than destroy the infection, may I suggest a different course? What are they doing? 
Look, lads! An escape! When an opening appears, run for it. What, 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 are you, what are you saying? Don't argue with me, Gerald. I've been bit. This is the end of the line for me. You don't need to do this, lad. There's no time. Gerald, thanks for being my best friend. Joe, what are you doing? Where's Joe? He... 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 Oh, Joe. I'm so sorry, Gerald. He saved us, Jenny. Wh what's happening? Well, Kevin is being reborn. Hello, my friend. Hello, friends. What the devil are you? Kevin? That's me. Like the new look? I have so many questions. No kidding. Who's Kevin? Where is Joe? much time. Stand back, all of you. It will take him long to recover. We must move him somewhere safe. 
and then carry on with our quest. I do not understand any of this. What is he? There will be time for answers later. The sorcerer knows we are here. He is waiting for us. I see. Then let's not keep him waiting. For our fallen friends. For our loved ones. For the future of mankind. trouble. Nice to see you again, Gerald and Jenny. What? You don't recognize me? Ah! You thought you could tear a hole through time and I wouldn't follow? I have abilities beyond your comprehension, human. Gerald, your sword. Oh, I recognize that sword. I'll be damned. For Jurgen and Gunnar, you devil! Please, 
You'll serve as a meal. You don't have to. You don't have to. You don't have to. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Will it work? I don't know. But try we must. Thank mm -hmm. you.